Hey y'all, what's the tea? You already know who it is. It's your girl, Raja D. O'Hara, straight out of season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Today, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite looks from the season, which is from episode two. What's that number one zodiac sign? <laughs> Capricorn, baby. I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. <laughs> First things first, I know you've seen it on a thousand makeup tutorial videos, blocking out the brows. It's the first thing you wanna do. I'm actually just gonna use some old, trusty, dusty glue stick and just make it do what it do, baby. So first thing, just go ahead and just lather it all up. It doesn't really matter which direction you go. I always like to go a little bit against the grain first and then I kinda smooth back over and we just go brush all the way up. We want those hairs to stick straight up to the sky. Now that that first layer is on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue to just go up. Instead of going against the grain, I'm just gonna go with the grain and how the hair actually is sticking and smoothing all the way up. That's what I want. Smooth one more time. And then you wanna take your blow dryer. Looking for a good blow? Get you a dryer. <laughs> Make sure it's on cool, turn it on high, and go. That's good for the first layer. Now we're gonna do that, do that about two more times. <laughs> Always takes a little bit of time and patience to get beautiful. And now that we actually have that down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one more time with my glue stick. While that is still wet, you take either your translucent powder, I'm using my highlight powder, and you just go in with a puff or a sponge, something that's gonna just really pack and press. So we're just actually just dusting off this powder. And you see how my edges are a little bit cakey and a little bit destroyed? What you do, you take your makeup wipe and you just clean a little bit of that off because you want it all to be smooth. And it will actually show in your makeup if you don't actually get that extra access off. So you just take the edge of your makeup wipe Next thing that I like to do when I block my brows, I actually learned this trick from my girl, Vanjie. You take you a color corrector, uh, whatever color corrector, because we do, I, had, I do have dark eyebrows. So I like to make sure that you don't get to see those at any point when I'm actually doing a covered brow. For a girl, my skin tone, I wanna use a burnt orange, not a bright orange or a pale orange. Pale oranges are for girls with a little bit more of a pale skin. Just powder over all of that. These prep steps, that's what they are, the prep steps. So you don't really have to look good or be cute or you know, worry about it because nobody will ever actually see you like this unless you are just one of those queens that are just lazy and this is how you go out on the show. My next step is actually gonna be doing my brow. I love a thick eyebrow, so what I'm gonna use is my white, my pure white. I am going to start with the bottom line of my brow, maybe midway from where my actual brows are, and I just draw a line going up. I like to just have like a slight more eye space, because I actually have a ton of eye space for my natural eyes, and just fill in. Starting in the same spot, a little bit higher. I'm gonna go ahead and set uh, this white brow with a white eyeshadow or white powder. What that's gonna do is actually just gonna even out the tone, the color of the brow, and actually flatten that, um, that little bit of texture that you can see. My inspiration for the look was actually a white goat and a black moor goldfish. So that's why you're gonna see a lot of white tones and then a little bit more darker tones throughout on the perimeter. I am going to go with a lighter base color for my lid. And I'm gonna take it on my finger. I could use a brush, but girl, why keep dirtying up a brush when you got 10 fingers? I am actually just gonna start in my crease area. I'm gonna use a soft brown just to give a little bit of contrast in this base. And then I always like to start with the lightest color that I'm gonna use 
uh, just to give a halo blended effect. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a rusted color, and I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I love something that has a fluffy end, especially for when you are blending or doing um, doing a crease, because you can buff. And I like to use like little circular motions. And then just go ahead and blend those edges out. Blending, blend, blend. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay a little bit more white down on my lid, and I'm gonna use um, a flat white prolonged wear waterproof color stick. And the girl like me, she sweats profusely, especially on the show. I'm gonna take another stiff bristled brush um, and go in with another white, the same white that I actually used on my eyebrows. I'm just gonna pat for impact. I'm gonna carve out where I want my liquid liner to go before I go in with the actual liquid. And then I'll also go back in and darken up my crease, connect the crease with the, um, with the liner so you get that sickening blend. I always like to take the edge of it and I swipe back. And from swiping back, I take it from that same point and I pull down. Perfect. And of course, we're gonna go in with our liquid and all of that other good stuff a little bit later. But you know, like I said, this is just carving out that color just so we know exactly where we want our crease to be. And then just fill all of that in. This one is gonna give you a little bit more definition so I can go in a little bit deeper in my crease. I'm gonna use a dark plum. I'm gonna start in that little corner and I just start to just lightly go in. You know, I have these really big eyes. I want it to look like a goat on the inside as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use that same white that I used on my brow and I'm going to line my waterline. I like to actually just do it now before I start to put anything else down on my face, give my eyes a little bit more time to adjust. And I'm really kind of concentrating just in that inner corner. I am going to go in with my liquid liner now. Everywhere I put the black, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit more defined. I like to use a darker black for this in a liquid liner, in a liquid form, just to give you more of a crisp line. Well, let me slap a little bit of mascara, just a light layer, since I'm really not gonna add any more shadow to the top. I wanna get rid of all of that fallout off of my lashes. I'm not gonna put on lashes just yet. So yes, now, skin and face. I'm gonna keep the insides of my face super light. Um, and you know goats, they have a little bit of a beard, so I'm gonna keep a white little beard. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with my lighter colored base. Used on a damp beauty blender. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, first, before I do that, I'm going to, because we've already done our liner, our liquid liner, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that line out. That means everything from there down, it's gonna be light. And I'm using this in my um, T-zone. I'm gonna use it on my high points of my cheek. And like I say, with this particular look, um, it's a white chin. And as you see, I'm going with that same white or same lighter color, not quite white, but the same lighter color base to do the bridge of my nose and kind of connected to my forehead. What I'm doing is actually just going ahead and blending a little bit of those edges out. I'm actually gonna uh, color correct slightly because I do have these areas on my face where 
I've had to do too many shows in my lifetime, so it's created craters in my beard area, and my mustache area, so, you know, you just gotta work with what you got, girl. Any brush that's like this, maybe even a kabuki brush, it kind of just blends everything together. It's perfect for, like, contouring and um, anything that's creamy. Now I'm gonna go in with that same brush, go in with my dark foundation, and tap. And I got to use something really full coverage because I really want to cover all of that beard, all of that man that you see. You got to go. You got to go back in the closet. Let Raj out and play. And I'm not going to add anything to this brush. I'm just going to kind of go in and stipple and blend a little bit of that white into the space where I want like my natural skin to actually show or the natural color, the darkness of my skin to show. I just wanna blend the two spaces together to perfection or to your liking. Same down here, but like I said, you still don't wanna interrupt the lighter color too much because it's supposed to look like a, a, a beard. I'm gonna slightly contour my nose. I'm gonna take a darker foundation, and I just really wanna go in and pinch my nose slightly. I'm gonna blend that in to that highlight space, and I'm just gonna take a dual fiber brush. I love these because if you use something that has a synthetic fiber on the tip, it's not going to um, soak up all the products, so you won't have to, like, re rebase. Let me go ahead and contour slightly. I'm going to take the same color that I kind of went down my nose with, uh, which is a darker colored foundation. I'm going to use it on a flat um, foundation brush. So I'll just take a little swipe, a little swipe. You don't want to take it past the cheekbone, typically, and you want to just blend that part out towards, you know, the apples. But I'm also gonna take a little bit here, down at the bottom, because we wanna chisel out. I do have a little bit more of a stronger jawline, but I call it structure, baby. And I also do like a little bit here and a little bit there. But you see how if you put the little color, just a little bit of contour here, it pinches your chin without you being like too, and then anywhere where you see like a harsh line, you tap. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna take it from the top of that and you just blend in and continue to do the same thing on the other side. Like little flicks, a flick of the wrist, yes ma'am. So now I'm just gonna powder all of this. I like to use a translucent, but it's not quite translucent because it does have a little bit of a color payoff. It's like a lighter beige. I wanted to sl a little bit of that off just so I see what I'm working with a little bit. Now I'm just taking a contour powder. I'm using um, a brown and as well as that sketch. As you can see, I love my sketch because it's, I'm hitting pan on it. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more definition up under here. And this is just to keep us safe, make sure that we keep that definition for the rest of the night. Today we're going for goat. So I'm gonna take a black, a fat black um, liner, and I'm actually just gonna go all up in my nose. You can even go up in your nostrils a little bit. And then I also will blacken this part too. I'm also gonna take that same black on jumbo, but I'm gonna use a pencil liner to connect from the nose. I'm just gonna take a line straight down with that same 
cream liner. I'm gonna go straight underneath my eye. Oh. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take my light colored blush, I mean light colored base, just again, and I'm gonna hit right here on the edge of that line. And just kind of buff that out so it's not so harsh. I'm gonna take that white and we're just gonna tap. On a little bit of white. Take a little white on the tip of my nose and blend that back. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my lips and lashes. I'm gonna use a black lipstick. This one is, of course, from my favorite. I'm gonna kind of lift my edges, the edges of my mouth to have a little bit more of a smile. I'm actually going to um, dust some of this powder off that I'm baking with. I'm gonna dust some of that off. One of my favorite highlighters. And I just wanna smooth over this, the high points of my cheek. But that just adds a little bit of luster and a little bit of a, an illuminated spotlight in that space. And I'm also gonna take it here as well. And it looks light, but that's okay because that's what we're going for. Like most drag queens, I like to stack my lashes to the heavens. Um, I'm gonna do top and bottom lashes today for you guys. Um, on the bottom, I like to use something that's super wispy. Of course, if you were wearing this on top, that would be beautiful. But girl, when you flip that thing over upside down, Ooh, so I'm just putting glue. I am using Weave Bond glue, and I like to go ahead and put glue on all of my lashes, the top and bottoms, just so the lash has an opportunity, the glue gets an opportunity to um, get a little bit sticky. And then I like to just set it in the middle just slightly, and then if I drag back, if I pull them back, it just makes them lay and do that. And then with the front of it, I just always like to line it up with that bottom line that I did originally. I have two pair of 301 stacked on top of two pair of some other like really short lashes that I found, but now that they're all like kind of stuck together, that makes it so much easier for me. So what I do is I actually like to also, I like to leave it a little bit up on the end and connect it at the bottom. Make sure that the edge of the bottom lash is hitting the edge of your natural lash and then lift that end. Blend, blend, blend. And dust off all the excess that, you know, is left over your face. You give yourself one, two over. You know what? It ain't over. It ain't over to the fat lady throw some glitter on her face. I'm using a crystallized um, iridescent white. You get you a nice brush, dip into your hairspray, dip into your glitter, and then you press it wherever you want it. So I'm gonna put it here to give myself a little bit more of some highlight moment. and iridescence in the inner corners of my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my look, put it all together for you so you can get into this real fish, goat fish that is fantasy. <laughs> yeah. 
you for sticking with me while I recreated this wonderful look from episode two, one of my favorites. What's the Zodiac sign? Capricorn, baby. <laughs> you can follow me on all of my social media outlets using the handle The Raja O'Hara Show. Comment down below. Only show love. If you're showing hate, show yourself out the door. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>